Okay, how to solve the Rubik's Cube. Now the first thing you need to do for my method, and just so I'm clear, I call this my method, it's the method I use. I did not invent it myself entirely. It's about 75% my own, but uh, I did have some help with this. <clears throat> now, first thing you need to do is pick a color to be your top side. And the whole time you're doing this, every time you hold the cube to do a move, the top will always be on the top. That never changes. You may have to hold it with a different front, depending on what you're doing, but the top will always be the top. I use white on mine because it has this little emblem on that side, but uh, you can use whatever color you like. So the first thing you're going to do is solve these four corners. So first just turn any white piece to the top. And here's the important thing, the mistake a lot of people make is they only look at the one side. But we're going to solve the whole top layer because this piece here is white, blue, and red. So if it's sitting right here and it doesn't match these, it's in the wrong place. It doesn't go there. You're going to have to move it again later if you don't have it in the right place now. So you want to go ahead and turn it so that all three sides of that corner piece match. Now it's in the right place. Then you just uh, find another one. All right. That one just happened to be in the right spot already, so I'm already done. All right, here we have one on the top, but it's turned the wrong way. So just turn it down like this, move it out of the way, and then turn this back up so that piece stays in the right place. All right, so now we got it's green and red. So we'll put it right here. The white's on this side. It needs to come up to the top, like so. But this piece is already in the way, so I just need to move that out of the way before I turn this up and back down. So I still have all three of these. Now the last piece is on the bottom. You need to get it all the way at the top. So if we just turn this like so to get that white, and then we need to move it all the way around so it's out of this plane entirely so we can turn it back up have that solved. Turn this over to here and then just bring this down, bring that over and back up. So now you have all four corner pieces solved and they should match on this side as well. Next step is to solve these four edge pieces. Alright, if there's any that are on the bottom row already, you probably have one or two at least, more than likely, then just jump straight to those. Alright, so here we have one that's green and white. So it goes right here. If the white is on the bottom, like it is in this case, then you want to have it right below the spot it goes in. And you want to turn the center row down, like so. So just the center row comes down. See what I'm saying? The easiest way to do it is to just grab both sides like this, and then just push the right side back up. But all you've really done is drop the center row down. All right? <clears throat> so you're sitting like this. You have the piece you want right below where it goes. Bring the center down. Then, because this piece is in the back, turn the bottom 180 degrees. Now to bring it right to here, push the center back up, and you're done. You got the piece right there. Now, if you've got the whites on the front, like in this case, instead of putting it right below where it goes, this one's white and blue. See, so white and blue. Instead of putting it right below where it goes, just put it either to the right or to the left. It doesn't make any difference. Then you bring the center down, like you did before. The white's already on the face, so you just turn it right in line with the white, push it back up, and this one's done. <clears throat> Alright, so let's see. Same deal over here. Put the orange one in place. Now here's if the uh, piece you need is in this middle layer like this. The way to get it out of there without messing any of the top up is this right here. Hold it so the you know your top is always your top. Hold it so your front has the piece you want on the right side. It doesn't matter if the white is on this side or this side. Just so this cube, this smaller cube is at this point right here. Then you turn the front to the right and the bottom to the right. Then turn the front to the left and the bottom to the left. Alright, now you see you have this white corner piece right here. So just push that up to the top the same way you did when you are just solving the corner pieces. And now the piece that was right here will be right here. So now you have, here's your white and red. So just put it in the spot it goes, do the same move and you're done. So now you should have the whole top side solved and on each of your, your faces, these three should match the center like that. Now the next step, and 
this would be real easy is to solve these four right here these the sort of the middle layer edge pieces which use the same move I just showed you let's see alright you have a here's the orange and green piece alright so it goes right here now what you need is for whatever your face is you know when you hold it so this is the front you're going to be solving this one right here and whatever color this centerpiece is that color needs to be on the bottom but it's not in this case out on the face so here's how you turn it you want it to be in this position here alright so if it's right on the face just turn it to the left and do the same move I just showed you front to the right the bottom to the right front to the left bottom to the left and then push this piece back up where it goes now you'll have this piece that goes right here will now be in this position with the color you want on the bottom when, once you have it on the bottom turn it all the way to the back and do the same move again and now you have the piece right where you need it and that's all you need to do to solve this in the, in the middle row is that same move every time if the, oops, if the piece is turned the wrong way then put it off to the side and turn it if it's turned the correct way for you already put it in the back and do the same move and it'll come to right here and obviously if you need to get a piece down from the middle row to the bottom again just hover right there and do the same move and in no time you should have that middle row solved alright so that's the top and the middle row completely solved I'm going to break right there and I'll come back in the next video and show you how to do the bottom layer which is where it starts to get a little more complicated but not too bad